Good morning. It is Wednesday, middle of the week. Uh, I'll try and keep my voice down since we are in our, wow, it's warm out here. I'm already starting to sweat. We're in our new, uh, our new studio. Uh, we haven't got the air conditioner in here yet, obviously, because it's about 100 degrees out here today. Um, and this is uh, one of our walls. The rest of the walls are kind of open and open beam right now. So we're still in, in construction on this, but uh, we've got the basics up. So we will be having the LTS on Saturday here. And uh, today we've got some questions and some little things to go over. So let's get to it. So uh, first question was by someone that uh, actually called, was it, they called yesterday. yesterday yeah can't remember exactly what it was this is down a little bit this is our 45 degree chamfer bit with a bearing on the bottom and many of you already know this and kind of uh, may seem like a, a simplistic question to you but um, somebody that's brand new that's never got one of these before they got the bit from us and it looked like that well it's because it has that plastic coating on and he didn't want to take any chances and do it the wrong way so taking the coating off by the way so um, here's all I do now here is the the carbide insert is here and here that's the main thing that you don't want to touch with any steel but other than that you could just peel this thing off and get it kind of get it started and then you should be able to just peel it off just with your fingers. It's just kind of a wax. It's a, a special, a spe, a special. It's a, it's a specific kind of wax that they put on there, um, plastisol or something. But uh, just take your time taking it off because you can slice your finger pretty easily on that on that sharp carbide. But that's really all there is to it. And then it has, it just feels kind of oily under there. But that's all it is. So j just make sure you don't hit that. And you can see where that's a carbide insert. That's the carbide there. And that's the carbide. That's what you make. Yeah, want to absolutely make sure that you don't touch your with. Thumb is in the way you're oh, that thumb. I was thinking my thumb's behind it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just make sure you don't touch that carbide there with uh, with anything steel if you're going to use a knife like I just did. Anyway, just uh, kind of a hint for especially for beginners that have never taken that stuff off before. All right, that's that. Now the next one is from uh, Jerry Ivy and Jerry, this is not really a question. It's kind of a uh, kind of a story, I guess. In essence, uh, he says I have an idea for coffee and questions. Um, a video about general sign sale. And what he's doing is, he says, what he's doing at his house um, is he makes signs that say home, but where the, the O is, he makes it the shape of Texas. And then he paints that red and the, the, um, the rest of the letters are black. And he, he found out by accident, by hanging them out um, to dry after he sprayed them, he sprayed his finish on, he hung them out in his driveway kind of thing to dry. People that are walking by, if you're in the neighborhood, in a, a kind of a residential neighborhood where people take walks, walk their dogs and all that, not a bad idea to have some signs out uh, as, as literally as you're spraying them and drying them or whatever. I know some guys actually carve, set up and carve in their driveway. Uh, I've certainly done that at houses that I've been before and it uh, lets all the neighbors know kind of what's going on and it's not a bad idea. It's kind of a little uh, neighborhood marketing thing. So um, I think it's a great idea and he, um, he mentions on here that he sold quite a few of them. Um, he says, I can barely keep up, so I'll have some for my booth at craft shows. Um, he said, you made me think of this when you did, we're a drinking club with a motorcycle problem sign. Uh, and he's going to start making those as well. So any stock signs like that uh, might not be a bad idea to let everybody know that you're making them. Um, and you don't necessarily, you could just have them out, like I say, in your driveway drying if you're throwing a finish on them. Anyway, especially if it's nice weather and spring and summer and all that. So that is that. Let's get to the sign carvers of the day. So first of all, my apologies for the other day. Uh, this sign that I showed was Jonathan Turlock, and he actually, uh-oh, 
I didn't keep. We got a breeze going on in here. We got the doors open because it's kind of warm here. But um, anyway, the Jonathan, I apologize for not having your name on there. But this is the one that I showed on Monday. Uh, just did a fantastic job on that sign. So Monday, I kind of go into a lot of detail on it. Let me pick this up off the floor. So the next one is from Oliver Claffy, I think. Claffy, Claffy, big sign, three foot by 10 foot piece of larch. I think Oliver, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say Oliver, I might be wrong on that though, so I don't want to make a mistake, but I was thinking Oliver is like um, in Australia or New Zealand, I'm not sure. But it's really a cool looking sign. I love the live edge, great job on the ends. Uh, beautiful sign, Oliver, love it, love it. And last but not least, uh, my buddy Aussie Brad just talked to him on the phone actually this morning yeah he uh, called and he said he wanted to order 10 signs and I said 10 signs oh when he talked to you on the phone yeah. oh I didn't know that but I just talked to Oliver um, Oz, uh, Brad Brad Oliver. not Oliver I just talked to Brad for actually quite a bit and I want to read some uh, read what this sign is all about because I saw it I'm going well, that's interesting. Maybe that's not politically correct. Maybe I should not be putting that on the channel. But let me explain it to you. So, uh, he says, Hey, mate, here in Australia, a lot of New Zealand people have migrated to Australia to live and work, and they're commonly known as Kiwis. In Perth, where I live, there are probably a million Kiwis living here because of the mining industry and associated businesses. They have their own rugby, rugby football team back in New Zealand called the All Blacks, which are uh, followed very closely by most of the Kiwis here in Australia. And you can see the All Black bumper stickers and, and window dressing on all of their vehicles. Um, so that's what the All Black and the Fern logo uh, perf uh, are referring to. I'm hoping to uh, kind of Sev, uh, set up a niche where I'm selling a lot of these. So anyway, he goes into some other stuff, but that is a, it's a perfect, uh, perfect idea for a niche. So that's what the All Blacks team is, is a rugby team, a New Zealand uh, rugby team. And really a great job on that. And really, I love the finish on it. You just didn't sand it all off. So very cool. Um, had a great conversation with, uh, with Brad this morning. Anyway, all right, you guys, that is it for today. So this is Wednesday, no video on Friday, LTS on Saturday, live training session. For those of you that don't know, we'll be broadcasting live on Facebook, 9 a.m., if everything goes right, Arizona time, uh, and we'll be doing it here in the new studio, and I've already got uh, kind of a demo all set up, ready to go. So I um, hope everybody can join us. Thank you again for all the shares, all the positive comments, all the likes, uh, thumbs up, and share the video as much as you can. If you think, uh, if you've got somebody you think would this would be informational for them, and um, we'll keep making videos, keep doing what we do, but we'll be running the router on, uh, on Saturday for sure, and Dad will be here doing something. Uh, who knows? Never can quite tell what Dad's going to do. But um, hopefully it won't be too embarrassing. So uh, anyway, hope you guys can join us. We'll see you on Saturday morning. And here come the flies. Uh, have a great week, everyone. See you Saturday. Bye-bye.